Magic Treehouse 5, Night of the Ninjas. Chapter 3. Ah, uh, hey! Jack opened his eyes. Annie was already looking out the window. The mouse peeked out of her pouch. Jack looked out the window too. The air was fresh and cool. The treehouse was in a tree with white flowers. The tree was in a grove of trees on the side of a mountain. Nearby, a wild stream rushed downhill. Two ninjas were standing on rocks near the water. They were staring at the valley below. One ninja was tall, the other was short. They were black pants and shirts. They had black scarves around their hats and swords strapped to their backs. It was exactly like the picture in the book. Jack crouched below the tree window. Be careful, he whispered. Don't let them see you. Why not? And he whispered back. They might think we're some kind of enemy, said Jack quietly. And he crouched beside him. Jack pushed his glasses into place. Now, he was going to look at the ninja book. He picked up the book. He turned to the beginning. He read. Wow, whispered Jack. We're in Japan, hundreds of years ago. Jack opened his backpack. He pulled out his notebook and pencil. He liked to take notes. He wrote. Jack, whispered Annie. They're looking up. I think they know we're here. Jack peeked over the windowsill. His eyes met the dark eyes of the tall ninja. Hey, hey, the ninja cried. He dashed toward the tree. The other ninja followed. Oh no, said Annie. We've got to go, Jack said. Where's the Pennsylvania book? He and Annie looked around wildly. But where was the book about Pennsylvania? It had the picture of the Frog Creek Ooze in it. Jack and Danny couldn't get home without it. It's not anywhere, cried Annie. We've got to do something, fast, said Jack. Pull up the ladder. He and Danny grabbed the top of the rope ladder. They pulled the ladder into the treehouse. But the tall ninja leaped at the tree trunk. Then, he started climbing up the tree. The short ninja followed. They climbed just like cats. Jack and Danny huddled in the corner. The ninjas climbed into the treehouse. Neither one made a sound. <laughs>